Hello, hello, welcome to the video. We just finished filming a podcast here with Betty Wetter. Hi. You can listen to it uh, wherever you listen to podcasts. We recap our years, talk about how it was, hint, it wasn't great. I don't know. Um, but we're here, and uh, so I thought while we were at it, I would do a rapid fire interview session. Mary Kill. Uh oh. The richest three men in the world Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett. And we can't just kill them all. Unfortunately, not. Okay, I'm gonna marry Gates. Okay. Uh, I, uh, mostly because he lives uh, right over that way, I could get to his house easy. I guess I'm gonna f Buffett because um, I don't know what he actually looks like, and the other two disgust me. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. Oh, disappointed? Maybe I'm into. Grand I'm so sorry. Um, and, uh, oh, let's kill Bezos. Yeah. You know, because I'm from Seattle. <laughs> yeah, it's a very yeah. Seattle thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Next question What's your current goal? Current goal? Mm -hmm. uh, world domination through drag mostly. Uh, no, actually, uh, throughout 2018, uh, I had this mission. I noticed that I was. Um, starting to perform mostly in what people consider to be straight bars and uh, so I kind of like took that on and uh, like wanted to leave this space that already exists for queer people for people who don't have the privilege that I have so I like I have a goal of making more queer space by existing in these spaces now so that years from now people who look up to me or will follow my footsteps uh, can just kind of like step in I think I'm at five bars right now that people would call straight bars, but all bars are gay bars, so don't let that fool you. <laughs> Not only do I have like the privilege of being um, uh, white and male uh, and like able, like people are, are, tend to be more comfortable with that in the like straight world, you know, and uh, Betty also is just like irresistible to a lot of people, so like I think that it's like a powerhouse and I can, I can make a lot of change that way. I love that. Using your power for good. Right. Yeah. 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 Not just to get me in the clubs and stuff. Yeah. Do a little bit of this. Get some drink tickets. <laughs> we love dancing to Little Mix. If you had, if you had to change your drug name, I never thought about what it would be. Oksana Bayul. Oksana Bayul. Yeah. You don't know this reference. She uh, was an amazing figure skater. I think at the age of 15, she won a medal. I can't, I'm not going to try history <laughs> right now. I don't feel very good this morning, but... Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, she was a figure skater. Um, and uh, one of my childhood icons. She's, you know, not one of the violent ones. Yeah, I was trying to think of a tiny joke, but we'll just let it. So, next question. I mean, I, I know you love YouTube, so if you had to live your life in a YouTube video format, like DIY, story time, get ready with me, pranks, etc., mm -hmm. fully mm -hmm. live like that, mm -hmm. what would you choose and why? I would do um, Graveyard Girl tea vlog, where she just sits outside of a, a Chick fil A constantly drinking giant sweet teas and talking, uh, mostly about ghost stories and getting distracted. I think that, like, that would be a really fulfilling way to live. <laughs> Just life. sitting outside of a Chick Fil A. There's food there. There's a bathroom. On brand for uh, this channel, what current event or issue, locally and globally, are you passionate about? Um, I mean, I think that we can put our efforts into a lot of them. Um, one recently that, um, I, it, particularly in this part of the country, and. Um, amongst our community, I think that we should start pr promoting more is giving back to the people that we took from originally. Um, one thing that we do at Heels, um, thanks to Beauty Lean O'Kipple's suggestion, is we take up tips at the beginning of the show during our theme song um, to give to Real Rent Duwamish, uh, which I think is very important. Uh, these people's land um, was basically taken uh, for a very, very small sum of money. Would you rather yeah, I was like, I gotta have a would you rather. I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> I, my, my motto, actually, my motto, my mantra used to be, uh, I, I could, but I could also not. 
No, but would I rather run? Sorry. <laughs> would you rather never be able to leave Seattle or have to leave Seattle tomorrow and never return? Oh, uh, never be able to leave Seattle. I have left this city maybe what three times in like the past four years. I like don't I don't go past like Fremont. I love Seattle. I feel so comfortable here. I think that we have. Um, uh, so much happiness at our fingertips. I think there is so much opportunity here. Um, I really like it. And I, I have thought about moving, and I just can't think of a place that would make me as happy. I, every day, I'm like, I need to go to the fountain, to the forest, and yeah, no, touch and rock. Not me. That, I, there, was, there was one day I went hiking with some friends, and uh, it, it had been an entire year since I had driven past city limits in any way. And like we went outside and walked, and I was like, "Wow, well, wow, oh, this is Earth. These are people who don't live in my dirty city." Um, my and dirty city. <laughs> not what I expected. <laughs> really? You thought I would leave and not come back? Yeah. Would you? The whole world versus here. I already am like, how long it went before I moved? You don't even know what's out there. If it's even there. <laughs> the earth is a big flat place. <laughs> flat twist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a flat round. earther. Oh, Prove God. to me that it's round. You just go to you, Doug. That's your tricky drug deal. You uh, sit on the red skirt of the table. <laughs> Prove to me the earth is round. I would do it too. Oh. Wow, now I want to do a flat earther number. Mm. That's. You spin me right around. You just throw frisbees painted with the earth. Don't steal this number from us. Yeah. Last question. 42 people own half the world's wealth. Wow. Um, we distribute their wealth, and now every single person in the world has a guaranteed income of 70, 75000 a year. Wow. What would you do with your time? I'm a workaholic. Mm -hmm. I, I would probably just put that into like whatever I was doing still, yeah. honestly. But like, if I were to say a fun answer, I would like... At first, I would buy like a really expensive, unnecessary gown, <laughs> like just giant one that like I, I don't even have to put on hip pads anymore. And honestly, I could like sh like peel the skin off my face, and I could still walk in in this dress, and people would be like, "You are gorgeous." A lot of bath bombs and sheet masks, and I'd lay in the tub quite often. No new wigs though. I'm keeping all the same hair. Should I get a car? Why? Mm. You know, like, the earth is uh, gonna be a big burning ball of flames in a couple of years anyway, so why not speed up the process? I feel like if everybody has $75,000, we can probably, like, have a good transit system. Oh, no. I think that Seattle would still be against that for some reason. Probably. They have a hard time making, like, a bold vision. Don't forget to like and subscribe! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one who says it. Yeah, uh, um, the, there's that uh, one tweet that, about that kid who, like, when his mom was tucking him in, was like, don't forget to like and subscribe, because he thought that meant good night or goodbye. We'll see you all next time. Don't forget to watch the podcast. Watch the podcast. Yeah, you can watch it. You can watch, watch the, the little bar. minute go across. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs>